Concept knowledge maps are a visual note-taking system that have several advantages over other note-taking strategies. These may be called patterns, mind maps, or concept grids, but for this video we're just going to call them CK maps. A CK map starts off with an anchor represented in this method by a line across the page. Instead of writing sentences, CK maps use keywords or key phrases to organize information. So write this key phrase along the main line. Off of this line, subconcepts or subcategories can branch off. It's kind of like the trunk of a tree. You are going to draw new slashes off the main line that will help you organize the information into categories and subtypes. These are like the branches off the trunk of the tree. You can also subdivide the branches to twigs and leaves. Thus, the CK map shows relationships between things. Relationships are captured by the nodes or points between the intersections of the lines. This, of course, has a similarity to point form notes when taken in outline format. So if a CK map is just like an outline, why would you use this format instead of a point form note? First, it's faster. You don't have to write as many words to show the relationships between things. Just draw another line and add some key words. Second, you can add material anywhere in the tree. You don't have to worry about not leaving sufficient space to add the indents. Third, you can do things with a CK map that you could never do with a point form note. For example, you could link different parts of the tree structure together. You might do this to indicate similarities between concepts while differences branch out. You can then use a very free-floating approach to taking your note. Fourth, CK maps are very good for tangents where a point form note is really not that helpful. Just draw another tree beside the first somewhere on the page. If you find that they are related later on, draw a connection between them. This is really helpful for when professors tend to wander around their topic and don't have a tightly organized approach to the topic. There are some disadvantages to CK maps. The first being, it's not a permanent note. If you leave this note for weeks or months, it may not make any sense to you when you come back. This means you have to review this note within the 24-hour period after making it in order to re-establish or establish that memory trace. So what can you do with CK maps? Well, CK maps are great for lectures, especially fast-talking professors. Second, they make great chapter reviews. Something that's very quick, very fast, to help re-establish that neural trace. Third, they are a fast method for creating an outline for an in-class essay. I never share strategies that I've never used myself. In this case, for two years, I used nothing but CK maps in a biology program. And it worked. I got A's. I hope you find this method useful as well.